They say that good things take time. Even a righteous brother once said, and time can do so much. And if that period of time, no matter how long, ends in an application of canuba wax, then it is time well spent. But before I could get on with my table legs, I had to take care of a few things. This little thing called the tabletop needed to be planed down, and I needed to pour some epoxy resin into a certain cavity. And no, I wasn't impaired when I poured this. I was just useless. I set up my planing jig yet again, and I took it down to a nice even level. I gingerly turned this heavy beast over and did the same thing to the undersurface. I've got nothing against butterflies. In fact, I'm extremely fond of them. But I wanted to try something a little bit different. We all know that a couple of pieces of wood jammed up against each other just doesn't cut it as a joint. And besides eating them, especially the chocolate ones, I don't really like biscuits. I thought maybe I could get some carbon fiber strands lay them in there in a figure of eight configuration and that might just do it. Besides being a little bit fiddly, this worked pretty well. That does it for the underside. I might do things a little bit different for the top surface. Now it's time for the leg housings. And I thought that I'd do these first because then I could finish the legs with them in an accurate position on the tabletop. tried to cut out nut templates in the past and a lot of the times they can get a bit messy and just have too many gaps in there and be a little bit inaccurate. This time I'm using pieces of MDF and I'm placing them right up against the nut itself. So when I remove the nut it's going to leave me with an exact cavity. That worked pretty well, and now I can route out the housing on the underside of the table. I also have to make room for the thickness of the washer and I cut this one out slightly oversized.
The fit was very snug, so there was no need for any glue. I found that this old blade-like bit was by far the best to use as a countersinking tool. These housings took a heck of a lot of time but it's worth doing the job right and these went in without a hitch. Now I could attach the table legs firmly to the underside of the table and have them in exactly the right position. Now I could work on the table leg cross member. I found that using car jacks was excellent because I could hold the cross member at the correct height. I had a lot of trouble conceptualising this last joint. I kind of knew how I was going to achieve the joint structurally, but I had a real hard time visualising the transition curves. I think you all knew it was going to be carbon fibre of some kind and so it's about to get messy. Firstly I just wanted to lash the pieces of wood into place. Now I can get the table legs into a vise and start working on the joint in preparation for the final layers of carbon fibre. With the carbon fibre nicely sanded down, I can now build up the joint with balsa wood.
I put these balsa wood panels on the ends just so that I could have something to wrap carbon fibre around. Applying the final layers of carbon fibre was pretty straightforward. To achieve inward pressure on the carbon fibre I used tins of paint as they had the correct circular shape that I was after. Now it was just a case of sanding it all back to the desired depth and I used yellow electrical tape as my depth markers. Having exposed end grain was an important feature of the joint. It was finally time to remove the black polythene. Initially I used 80 grit sandpaper and then 120 and then I finished it off with 220 grit. I didn't go any finer than 220 grit because I want the first coat of shellac to be the seal coat and if you go any finer than 220 grit it doesn't really soak in that well. I made up some shellac and I thinned down a little bit for the first coat. That came up really nice and I sanded that down with 320 grit and I repeated the process until it was ultra smooth. I could then start applying my final layers of Canuba wax. I really like that combination. Shellac followed by Canuba wax. It seems to give me a really nice satin finish. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the final video.